How's it going, everyone? This is China Connor, and you're watching a Wi Fi battle video. Thank you for coming to this video, everyone. I'm very happy about it. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give a like. And can I press that game button? I can't. Ah, Alright, there we go. Today's match is a match I had with Necro Sivo. He lives off with a buzz killer, buzz kill. And I'm very pleased about that. Not really. But here I begin with my mega camera. This is a weird set, but I'm going to describe it and show you guys what set I have in mind here. Um, it has Lava Plume, Nature Power, Solar Beam, and Earth Power. A lot of people don't realize they can get Nature Power, but I, I was I was actually really that surprised too about that. But um, he can get that move, surprisingly. Now he goes for the U-turn right there, which is unfortunate. I would love to hit that thing with a lava plume, but most of the Mega Beagle sets run U-turn, which I'm okay with that. He goes into Lady Oz, the Locky Oz, which is fine with me. And here I get to show off my nature power, which turns into Try Attack, which for those who don't know, it bypasses uh, moves such as Sucker Punch. For example, coming from Spiritomb. Now, of course, that move, Nature Power, doesn't work on Spiritomb. He goes for Pursuit right there, thinking that I could probably switch out. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to stay in. Let Saladom go down right here. And I was expecting him to switch out into something different, expecting a water type move. And it works out right here because I go into Cyrus, the Persian. And I see Rotom going for Volt Switch after that. So my prediction worked out pretty well, okay? And then it's like, no, he got out of there safely. So that's unfortunate. But he goes back into Legion. And I expected that, so I go for the U turn. Just get a little bit of damage back in there. And I can go into something a little more appropriate. Alright, so Zumrel, last time I actually withdrew, and um, this time I'm actually going to go for the play rough. Um, fortunately, I don't miss, and this does a crap a load. A crap a load. Is that a word? Crap load. Crap a load. No relation whatsoever. Anyways, I'm not going to worry about it. Here I go into Voodoo. This is my defensive um, prevalent here, and it's designed to. Burn a couple of things and then go for Will Whisper. No, I mean Leech Seed. And I hopefully get a chance to do that. Um, he brings in Mammal Swine, and here I get the information that he has Icicle Spear. And fortunately, I am going to be hit twice instead of like three or four times. Because if he hit four times, then I would probably be dead right now. But here we go. Um, the plan is set here, I think. We hopefully get a chance to burn the mammal swine right here so that he can do less damage and then I can rack up the HP of his and then I can get my health back. We'll see how we do. Um, I've had a couple of matches where I, I use Trevenant and it sort of worked. I mean, it, he has a lot of HP and he can kick a couple of hits, but then there are times where there's critical hits racking in there and that's just not working out for me. But fortunately, even with all those icicle spears, I'm going to still live it. So, Trifling, you're becoming a beast right now and I'm saying this because, not only because he's burnt, but you're defensive as well. So, you see how much HP I get back? He's probably, um, well, I would probably say he has a lot of HP investment if it's a defensive. Mammal Swine, I can clearly see that because, um, he has Stealth Ox. So. Unfortunately, he gets a critical hit, and I am going to get a couple of critical hits in this match, guys. Just saying. Um, but we get double gowns, which are the best types of gowns. Just saying. Um, Necrocevo likes them too, so hopefully he likes that. Here I make a weird play going to Cyrus. I was going to see if he had Sucker Punch, and that was stupid of me because I could have switched out. I could have, I could have, I could have. Um, I don't know if Spiritomb gets, he gets pressure, not, not Shadow Tag. Hmm. Yeah, it's pressure, I know. But yeah, you know what? We're going to 
play rough and get a critical hit of my own and knock out Spiritomb. And that worked out pretty well. What about you guys? Do you think that worked out pretty well? Okay. All right. Cool. Now here I go for Aqua Jet and I get a critical hit again. So I don't know if that mattered. Um, with the huge power of Azumarill's, I probably don't think that mattered that much. If it did, let me know, Necrosivo. But, um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. But now we have to deal with this guy who gets a critical hit. So many critical hits going on right now. Um, but he gets a critical hit and knocks out Oracle, which I am a little bit sad to see that. But then at the same time, he could have outspent me too. So, yeah, not looking too sharp right there. I wanted to use Oracle, but not the best way to do it, I guess. Here I bring in Monsterella. This is a weird counter set. It has Rock Slide, which I was expecting Lady Oz to come in again, which is why I go for uh, Rock Slide right there. Not because I wanted to see Buzzkill go down, but, you know. Um, Inferno comes in, and I haven't faced this thing in the entire battle, and guess what? Another critical hit! Really? Well, it doesn't matter because I'm at low health. There's so many critical hits that don't matter in this match. Holy crap. Why does this game hate me so much with all those critical hits? I don't know. But here we go. This is the last moment in this battle. Can I please take out Buzz Kill? And I don't. I don't get a critical hit. This is where I needed a critical hit, but I don't get it. Oh well, but if you guys enjoyed this battle, that was kind of quick, but I wanted to post it because it's me versus Necrocevo, and we have good battles all around. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a like and subscribe as well. I've got some awesome content coming in for you guys. And if you want a t-shirt to support my channel, Go down in the description, I'll have one. The link will be down there and all that good stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and I'll see you guys later. Alright, have a great week everyone. Bye now.